We're gonna be taking the factory exhaust off of the Sportsman 850 and putting on a RJWC. You have one spring here, another spring here, and then on the inside, there is a slide there, and there. Get that off and I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. I ended up taking the heat shield off, which is held on by four 3A bolts. And then you had to slide them out of this tab, this tab, this tab. The RJWC exhaust came with these pins. They go where these were, right into these rubber grommets here, towards the front or towards the back of the machine. They just slide in right here. And then these bolts will go in place of those. One thing I did forget to film is they have you marked on the back side of this bracket right here. There's a little hole on the back side of the bracket. You mark on the back side of the bracket, pull the bracket off, put this bolt up on the top side here. It's bolted in from the back side. Pull that off, drill your hole out, and then this little Allen bolt goes through and then there's a little nut that goes on the back side and then you tighten it, tightens this thing up so it doesn't move around so much and rattle around. Kit also came with a new exhaust donut to put on. I have to run a spark arrestor where I'm from legally as it's just a good idea to run one anyways. So they just do four Allens around the outside and they send you this with the spark arrestor and the tools to put it in. There is your install video on the Sportsman 850 RJWC Power Sports Crossflow Exhaust. There is the part number there for the exhaust. Thanks and have a good day.